The National Salaries, Incomes and Wages Commission has said it will initiate the process of reviewing the national minimum wage on January 23rd. Recall that the President Mohamed Buhari signed the Minimum Wage Act, which approved 30,000 Naira for both federal and state workers in 2019. However, NSIWC spokesperson Emmanuel Njaku said they decided to review the national minimum wage after holding a series of training and meetings in preparation for nationwide monitoring of the Act. Njaku said, the exercise will enlighten the public and private employers and organizations on the economic benefits of adhering to the payment of the national minimum wage. It will help in obtaining baseline data on permanent policies and practices of private sector organizations to enrich the Commission's data bank on staff compensation. The monitoring exercise will cover the 36 states of the Federation, including the Federal Capital Territory. Meanwhile, there has been controversy following the increment of minimum wage from citizens, as some have said that considering the present harsh economic realities, increments in allowances only would be like putting a cup of water in the ocean, as it would not make any significant impact on the economic lives of workers. In an interview with the chairman of Kwaibom State's chapter of the Nigerian Labour Congress, comrade Sonny James, he said, The organized labor in the state would go for increments in the basic salaries of workers and not allowances. He also said that a basic salary of any worker is the basis for any increment because allowances can be withdrawn at any given time. The Chairman Trade Union Congress, comrade Dominique Abang, while expressing concerns on the increase in allowances rather than basic salaries, said that it is always easy for the government to make promise, especially during election time, but when it comes to implementation, it is a different game.